welcome to my channel. Come on in, guys. We're baking a pound. We're baking a seven up pound cake. Come on in. We're baking a seven up pound cake today. I need you all to come on in. Come on in. We're baking our seven pound seven up pound cake for the holidays. Thank you. We're gonna turn the music. Okay, I own the rights to the music. This music is by my brother Alpha Tiso. I own the rights to the lyrics, the beats, the music, the lyrics, the sound. I own the rights. We're making our 7-Up Pound Cake today. We're going to turn the music on and we're going to go through our steps. Hello, whoever is in the room. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining Charm. Charm's Cooking. We're live again today. So I have... Today, we're making a seven up pound cake. Three sticks of butter. Three cups of sugar. Three cups of sugar. Okay. We have our Swanson down flour, which is three cups already sift. In our sugar, we're going to put the salt. A tablespoon of salt or a teaspoon of salt the smallest one the teaspoon then we're gonna put our baking soda okay baking powder I'm sorry the seven up already has the the soda part so that's what we're doing we have our vanilla extract we have the vanilla extract right here we have the almond, only because I want to, you don't have to. We have the cake batter, only because I want to, you don't have to. You can only put your vanilla extract if you want, but because I want to. I have already sifted my lime, the zest, got that. We have our buttercream, buttercream, for our cake. Okay, and we also have the seven up, if I forgot to say, because it's a seven up pound cake. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So I have already started with the cream, the butter, cream in the butter with the sugar. Okay, with the sugar. I've already started with our three cups of sugar because people are telling me they want to know the exact measurements. So that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. It's going to be noisy. We're going to go ahead and mix that. We're going to go ahead and mix that. to set your oven on 325 when you start baking this cake okay so we already done that I'm gonna turn that on and we're gonna go ahead and add our eggs one egg at a time but always two go in don't ask me why but that happens with me I can never get it right so we're gonna add the egg we're gonna incorporate on the sides always go to the sides and clean up and add it into the batter. Once that's mixed in, we're gonna hit, go ahead and put another egg. There's always one egg at a time, but if two eggs go in, no big deal, don't worry about it. Okay, 
so that's going and then we're going to go ahead and put another egg we'll put in another egg and we have one egg left so we're going to keep beating that hi marie point is your thank you for joining me today So we're gonna put that in the egg. We're gonna put our last egg in. We're gonna put that egg in. And we're gonna let that beat until it's creamy and all the eggs have dissolved. We're gonna do that for a while, for a good five seconds, five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop the machine. And incorporate everything in there. And I'm going to let that beat, beat again. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my buttercream I'm going to go ahead and put my buttercream slowly I'm going to I'm going to slow the machine down and put the buttercream you could also use heavy cream if you want to, ladies. Heavy cream is just as good as buttercream. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my flour. So we're going to put the flour in a little bit at a time. Let this incorporate. Let our buttermilk go in. Then we're going to slow the machine down and we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of flour at a time. A little bit at a time, maybe a cup at a time. Remember the flour is already set. Um, we have already put in our eggs. We put in our eggs, our butter. Now we put in our flour. Okay, Miss Alabama, I got you, girl. I'll call you once the, once I'm done on this live. I miss you, girlfriend. We need to talk. We really do. Okay, ladies. It's a very simple seven of pound cake. It's not rocket science. And once I put a little bit of flour in, I'm going to go ahead and put... A quarter teaspoon of salt. It's almost like a pinch of salt. I put that in. I'm going to go ahead and put a tablespoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. Baking powder, I'm sorry, baking powder. And we're going to mix that in. We put in baking powder, okay? Quarter teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna let that mix. Turn it off. Go ahead and put more flour. More flour. And more flour. You don't have to do it the way I do it. You take your time. Remember, your flour, when you put it, you're going to give it a very slow, let it go very slow. There. How is everybody Turkey Day going? How was everybody Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. I hope everybody was blessed. Thank God for another day, another Thanksgiving. COVID has really done a number on us. 
Hi, Tanya. Thank you for watching me live. We're making our 7-Up Pound Cake today. Delicious. Delicious. 7-Up Pound Cake today. That's what we're doing. So, I'm trying to get it together. I'm going to go ahead and add some more flour. Add some more flour because I want to, because I have to, because that's what the recipe calls for. I'm going to put all the rest of our flour in. All the flour is in. If you cannot hear me, I forgot to put the phone on um, Do Not Disturb. Go in and go back in. Go out and go back in because someone just tried to call me. If you guys cannot hear me, because what happens is if the phone is not on Do Not Disturb, um, it will it will do that. But someone just tried to call me and I cannot go back and forth. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. How are you doing, Paul? Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for joining me. Remember ladies, if you want to start a Facebook page, remember to call me up, inbox me. Miss Alabama is going to help everyone with a Facebook business page. <laughs> right Miss Alabama? So we're making our seven a pound cake. We have put all the flour in there. We already put all our flour in there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start putting the rest of the stuff in. So our flour is in there, our egg, our butter, everything is in there. So now I am going to put a tablespoon of tablespoon, half a tablespoon of vanilla extract that's because I want to you don't have to then I'm going to put the almond extract same spoon I'm using okay ladies then I'm also going to put the butter cake batter cake batter butter um, extract I always put a little bit more of that it gives it a very nice flavor when you use that. And then we're going to mix that up. You could put them one at a time, mix it up, and go back. But I put everything at one time. Okay? I put everything at one time. You don't have to do it that way. Because when you're learning how to make a cake, you want to take your time and do everything slowly. But with me, I've already made this recipe several times, so it's, it's an easy fix for me. But I, I understand everybody's trying to learn. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lemon zest, lime zest. I'm putting the lime zest. You guys have seen that? The lime zest is going in. And it's as much as you want to. One teaspoon, one tablespoon, a half a tablespoon, whatever you want to do. Just put a little bit of lemon zest. It gives it a very rich flavor. Now I am going to put my 7-Up. The 7-Up is always the last thing to go in. A half a cup of 7-Up. Ladies. Seven up, a half a cup. I'm pouring it in. Ooh. I should have went slow. Sorry. My bad. I'm going to put a little bit because some of it got splashed out. And that's the whole recipe. Then we're going to put it in our pan. 
Once this is beaten all over and incorporated into our flour and all our ingredients, we're going to go ahead and spray our pan. oven once we spray the pan. Hi Diamond, Diamond it's a seven a pound cake. We're making our seven a pound cake for Christmas. Delicious. We're going to spray our bacon pan. We're also going to do another recipe later. We're just doing this cake right now. Extra little pot, little one that I can make because I don't want to overdo it because it may overflow. The only reason I do that, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if we have some gentlemen in the room, but the only reason I do this is because I do not want the cake, the baking soda in the in the Seven Up will make the cake rise too too high. So I always do a little one so that I would have enough. So it wouldn't be overflowing in the in my baking pan. You don't have to do that if you have a big baking pan. That's fine. But with me, I always do two small ones. And guess what? I know how it tastes because this is the first batch and it's delicious. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna mix the cake in. I'm gonna let it go a little faster. Okay, that's my salt. I put the salt. I need it all of that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead. My oven is already on at three, 350. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put the cake in the pan so we can bake it. So we can bake this delicious cake for at least half an hour. My cakes take about half an hour to 45 minutes. But once your cake is brown on the top, ladies and gentlemen, you know your cake is ready. You put so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the batter in the pot in the in the cake pan slowly. You just drop it in. It doesn't take long to make a cake from scratch. People make it like it's a, oh my God, I can't make a cake from scratch. It's very easy. Your blender does it all for you. All you have to remember is the simple steps to put your cake. I don't know why they do that, but they hit it down. So I do the same thing. But all you have to do is follow a simple recipe go back and replay the video and you will see how i'm telling you to make it and it's very simple i made this cake as a child i did home, home economics as a child and this is a family recipe that we have and i've always made this cake i've given it to all my nieces and it's a beautiful beautiful cake we're going to go to the oven and put it in. You're going to put it in your oven at 350. And then we're going to put this in, the two little ones, because our oven was on and it's ready. And we're going to let that bake. 30 up to 45 minutes. That's on the page. And now it's in the oven. We're going to turn our oven light on so we can see our cake.
going to bake that cake for 45 minutes. And we're going to go ahead, once that cake is out of the oven, ladies, once that cake is out of the oven, there's our cake. It's out of the oven. We are going to sift a little bit of sugar on the top. And this is our whole cake. Ready to eat, ready to mingle, and ready for the party. Okay, we're going to cut into our cake. I'm going to cut into the cake. I'm going to show you. And we're going to have it with a little bit of ice cream. We're going to have it with a little, we're going to cut our cake, and we're going to have it with a little bit of ice cream. Look how beautiful this is. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Simply beautiful. Simply gorgeous. So I'm going to show you how we can have it with ice cream. Yes, it's powdered sugar diamond. A little bit. Because diamond, I remember you telling me, put it with a piece with some ice cream, girl. You know I went to get the ice cream, right? So this is the cake. Let me get the ice cream so we can show you, ladies, how you can serve this. How you can serve this with a little bit of ice cream. And, or you could actually put some raisins, you could put um, strawberries, you can put, you can put some strawberries, you can put cherries on the side. Let's have a little more ice cream. So that's powdered sugar. And everybody say, don't put a little bit of ice cream on there. Put that ice cream on there. Look at how delicious that looks. I have 10 people on my view. I want to say thank you for coming on. Thank you. I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to post it. This is absolutely gorgeous. The whole cake is done. I want to eat it right now. I'm so hungry. But I'm going to come back on. Because we're going to make... What is Diamond saying? I can't read. <laughs> you are Diamond good. It's, 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 it's a delicious 7-Up pound cake. I love this recipe. I tell everyone it's such an easy recipe. Why do we buy box cakes? I'm not knocking box cakes. Don't get me wrong. But these are simple ingredients. Eggs, butter, and it doesn't even take long. Look how long it took me to make this cake. And it's done and it's ready to go. Thank you for joining my live. For those of you for Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. God bless you. If someone hurts your feelings, turn via the cheek. And don't wish them bad because karma is karma is something else. But I thank you, I love you, and I'll see you soon because I'm coming back to make the corn souffle and fried chicken. That's dinner. We were just making the dessert. Thank you, I love you, and God bless.